Can everyone see? This is the amazing guy, um, Jesse Hairlay. Highly recommend this place. I come here regularly, and it's not only a haircut; it's a place where I always get inspired by just the different things that Gay does in our community. Um, she founded Project School Fall. Has anyone heard of Project School Fall? That's for young people who are completing year 12 and might and have uh, the opportunity to go to the fall because they can't afford a ticket or an outfit and Gay helps with all that kind of stuff. And also Hair Aid, which provides free haircuts to people who are homeless or in need. And more recently, Haircuts with Heart. So Gay is going to talk a bit about that tonight. Thanks, Jeff. Um, so yeah, tonight I'm actually going to talk about hairdressers with hearts. Um, I'm super passionate about this. An amazing lady called Sonia Colvin from Bribe Island started this a couple of years ago. And basically what it is, is she provides um, resources and training model modules for hairdressers um, to be able to recognise and respond and refer for DV and also elderly abuse. One of the things that she's a hairdresser herself. So in this special space, this is Angie, my beautiful client. And I think the fact that we get to touch and we get to know people and like I've been hairdressing 35 years, so it's never just a haircut. Um, we learn a lot about their life, the happy times and some very sad times. And one of the things they do is they'll always share. And sometimes they'll say to us, I, I can't believe I just said that to you. And it's just a safe place. And so what Sonia's done is provided training resources to be able to educate us, to be able to, you know, respond and refer to the correct people. So by no means are we counsellors, but we've been able to have that chat with them. And when they're telling, telling us things in their life, and it's okay to say, no, that's not okay, what's going on, and being brave enough to actually say that to them. And I think that education behind that actually helps us be brave. So in Australia, there is 66,000 hairdressers. So this is going into tapes and it will be mandatory model, uh, modules in there. So it's fantastic. One of the modules, which I love the most is at the very end, it's called, you know, about vicarious trauma, because we do listen to so much and we do take it on because we do love our clients. Um, so that's amazing. But with 66,000, hairdressers with the reach of 7 million people. So one of my jobs, I'm actually on the board of Hairdressers with Hearts. That's how passionate I am about this. So I'm getting it out to the rural areas because in a lot of rural areas, um, we actually don't have that DV support, but you will always have a hairdresser and you always have a barber. So you imagine them being educated and getting to as many people as we can to help. So that's a little bit about what we do. We're trying to get local councils on board. There's been a lot that's come on board with Brisbane, Logan, um, Gladstone, Morton that are granting $10,000 and actually educating their hairdressers in their areas to help. So I think that's fantastic. But yeah, thank you for listening and together hopefully we can all make a difference. Thank you. And I think Gay is an awesome example that whatever you do, whether it's being a hairdresser or whether whatever it is, that we can all do something to help the homeless because often people don't see what's actually in their hand. I just encourage you guys to all think, what's in my hand and how can I use that to help someone? And you know, homelessness, is scary and lots of women stay in violent situations because they've got nowhere to go and reality is that over 9,000 women every year become homeless because of domestic violence and so often when women are faced with domestic violence and men and children um, they think hey, I can stay here or I can go to another unsafe environment. And so violence is the no number one reason why people experience homelessness. And it's really important 
that we educate the whole of our community how to identify it and how to support people because the thing is that people go through it alone and when you're alone and experiencing that your isolation and it's harder to link up with other services so to have hairdressers other people in the community who are aware and able to you know tell people hey that's not right and guide people to the right support at the right time and help people to make a plan so when they leave they go to a bad situation no worse one is really important excellent thanks so much guys and i just love how gay and the hair 18 come down to the soup kitchen and a lot of other places as well um the housing hub and they just give out free haircuts and the amazing thing about that is like a fresh cut you know it just brightens up people's day I just, and it just makes a difference